So um, there's this Tumblr blogger named Ink Rose, aka that artist girl who likes way too many video games. Um, we did a post about a month ago about the female Legend of Zelda Link thing. And I don't know if that's been changed at all. I'm too lazy to look it up. However, I was just laughing so hard. I thought it was so stupid I had to make a response to it. So let's read. So some girl asked, uh -oh. Why do you have such a big problem with a male character being a female? Even ones, gender doesn't dictate personality. It would be a huge problem for them. For they are representation in games and movies. If they, if they, well, the women, took the spotlight, a woman in her own bond life movie wouldn't make a big deal as a woman in action film a statement as a female bond. And, he's, and if there's a gender select in Zelda games, you never have to use it. And it won't change the game or link at all. The canon isn't set in stone. So why? Push it gets the point. I, I think that's a reasonable overall argument. You know, I disagree with some of it, but why don't we read Ink Rose's font? Because gender does dictate personality. Especially a personality as complex as Link, who can be, the who can be described as as interesting as sandpaper. You're basically complaining about that sandpaper having a feminine sign over it. Or having like one of those female signs from like the 50s or whatever, or 60s, I don't know, I don't care. Oh my god, like, um, you're just basically being like, my sandpaper, my precious sandpaper. <laughs> as much as people want to deny it, when you look at a female character, you see a different person compared to a male character. Yeah. In one case, you see a male character, and in one case, you see a female character. Now tell me, tell me, do games also end with ending sequences? I, I have to know this. It's it's a fundamental base change in character design that alters the audience perception of this character. Like, oh my god, guys, I'm so offended by this. Uh, I not really. It's like if this was somewhat deep and complex and meaningful. Okay, I sort of get it, but Link. I don't know, I haven't played any newer Zelda games, but from what I've understood, as I don't think Link's ever really talked. He just does some facial expression like, yeah. You know, it's not like, oh my god, this is so deep. I, I, my mind is changing from this character. Thus, it is no longer the same iconic character. Um, well, Link isn't iconic, though. Trying to change a kind of gender for no real goddamn reason besides me, well, the oh god, I already hate you. Well, I already did hate you. It's insulting to the character. I, I'm sure the fictional character is just like, that was mean of you, game designers. You have to be so mean. The character designer, the spirit and personality of the character. Um. I, there is no spirit to Link. He's as bland as a toenail. Men and women are different. This is a fact. And one person who's denying that. And and the funny thing is, the people who have been denying that, I've been mocking. So you can't just come up to me and say, "Oh my God, you ridiculous astro," you know? Like I, I'm trying to use a voice less annoying to Ink Roses because if you actually heard, because Ink Roses have a YouTube channel. And if you heard her voice, you get a migraine immediately. If that's a recorded fact. I do not want a female bond. That is insulting. It's like saying, ah, oh, poor women. The only way we can give them representation is to change a male character to a female one instead of actually being creative. Love the buzzword. And giving them their actual, again, love the buzzword, female character. Okay, actual isn't a buzzword. But in this context, it's a buzz term. See what I mean? It's nothing and pondering. Okay. Right from Star Wars is a good example of an actual female representation. She's her own character. She's awesome. She's fun. She's not super pondering. Like, actually, am I the one who felt like, you know that scene where I forget his name, but he was like Darth Vader of the movie? Darth Vader of the movie was like, I'm gonna read your mind. And then and Ray was resisting. 
You know, and that, that one I felt was actually closer to pandering to, you know, social justice types, but still. I don't know, is that, maybe that's just me. If you suck and tired of female representation in action movies, guess what? There's a new Lara Croft movie coming out. And, um, I have good money on, it will suck. Lara's a fam- I don't know, I never played Tomb Raider. And, and that's like, and actually, I, I never watched Clone Wars, it looks stupid, I don't know if this is accurate. That gif is annoying me, I want to punch it. Stop JJ Calcutta's gender. It's really dumb and gimmicky. As well as disrespectful and lacking in creativity and tact. Do you even know what tact means? I, I don't know if you know what tact means. Tact is like someone's sugarcoat. How is that? You did what? Nothing in this post makes any sense. All it came down to was why I don't like my precious sandpaper and JJ. Because, you know, then the mean all that's juice, they take it their way. And that's like, oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Like, that, that's so not fabulous. Yes, dear, I'm in the living room. And if you are thinking that's a weird voice, you have not seen any of my other videos. I've done far weirder stuff. So, by the way, this was stupid. It grows. You're probably stupid. I don't know if you're actually stupid, but I have a good feeling you are. And good night.